you know, Chris, I'm not a bit sure where the original idea for this book came from. Was it your idea? Was it mine? Or was it purely BBC? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was either of us individually. I think it was a group decision uh, from those of us working on the Sky at Night to, uh, to take the questions we got sent in for the 700th Sky at Night episode back in uh, March 2011. It was indeed, uh, yes. And, and to <coughs> take all the questions we got, most of which we couldn't answer in the programme, and actually put them in a book. Uh, and, and put as many answers as we possibly could out there. For so some questions that crop up time and time and time again, so you, you know about those. Yes, I mean, we've had lots and lots of people ask about uh, what the best telescope to start with is for a, for a complete beginner. So, uh, well, I mean, what's the, what's the best advice for that, would you say? I would say it depends on two things. Firstly, <clears throat> what do you want to spend? Mm -hmm. And secondly, what are you most interested in? Uh, there was a time <clears throat> when I advised anyone against getting a telescope for less than £100. It's not so loud. You can get quite good ones for more for less than that. You can. I mean, I, I have I have a little telescope <coughs> that was just over £100, and it's, it's my, my first telescope. It's not too dissimilar in size from your first telescope, a little three-inch refractor. It stands on the hall. My, mine costs £7.10. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know what that is in today's money. But I don't know either. <laughs> I think the first thing to do is to get outdoors and learn your sky. The stars don't change compared to these other. The planets do, but the stars don't. And therefore, go and learn them. It doesn't take you long. I used to make a pass with the to the art and learn one new constellation every night. It didn't take long. In answering these questions, I find I've had to learn a lot more cosmology than I knew. Yes, and I've learned a lot about the moon as well. So. Good. <laughs> <laughs> So on the whole, I hope we've produced a book that will, that will teach people. I think there's a lot of information in there. I hope so anyway. That's what we, that's what we tried to do.